In today's video, we are going to turn Shopify's newest free theme, Sense, into a dark, one product theme design inspired by this popular dropshipping product. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, dropshipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now, let's get into the video. All right, so if you haven't seen the theme Sense before, make sure to check out this video. Sense is one of Shopify's newest free 2.0 themes, and when I saw it, I knew I wanted to customize it, and here's what I came up with. So as you can see, it's a simple one product page design, which makes it really quick and easy to set up. And the entirety of its layout has one focus, and that is to sell this product. Now let's jump into how you can replicate this. All right, so first things first, you will need to install Sense. So from your Shopify dashboard, click on online store, scroll down to where you can see free themes, and click explore free themes. From there, select Sense and add the theme to your library. I'm going to walk you through all of my settings in this video, and I will be popping up the settings on the side like this for easy viewing. And I've also created a cheat sheet containing all the settings on one page, which I've posted in our private Facebook group. You can find the link in our description box. Okay, with the theme installed, click Customize, and let's get started. First, we are going to work on colors. So click theme settings, colors, and follow along with me. Here's what it's looking like so far. Let's save our work and let's move on to the next section. The next section we are working on is checkout, which you can find at the bottom here. I'm going to navigate to the checkout so I can see what I'm doing, but you can also do the same thing by selecting it from the drop down here. The last thing we're going to change on the checkout is the form fields. We are going to switch this from white to transparent. Great job, now let's move on to typography. 
we are going to use the font Poppins. So go ahead and start typing that in. And when it appears, you can go ahead and click on it. And then we're going to change this from regular to semi-bold. We are going to change the body text as well, but we will leave it as regular. Save your work and we are finished with the design. Now it's time to move on to the homepage sections. The first thing we will do is add an image here. This will be your main product photo. If you click button, you can change this text to buy now and then link it to your product. Next, by default, we will have this featured collection. Since this is a one product store, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this block. Then I'm going to move the multi-column block up. If you don't have this by default, you can add it in. I'll be showing you how to do that shortly. With these columns here, you will want to write in any key product features or perhaps any appealing things your store offers, such as free shipping, a warranty, or a money back guarantee. I'm uploading icons here. You can do the same by searching in Google for free commercial use e-commerce icons. The last step is to click on multi-column and change the image width to one third width of the column. Now we are going to add in another section. This one will be another multi-column. Drag it right up underneath our other multi-column section. I'm going to erase the heading, and then I'm going to add in one more column to make four. This section should be reviews, so if you have an app that you've imported AliExpress reviews with, you could use that instead of these columns. But if you don't, you can do it this way, and then copy and paste your reviews in here, along with a star rating image. Again, this is something you can find with a Google search. To bring these columns up to one line, I'm going to adjust the image size and change it to half width of the columns. Then we are going to center align our column content. The final thing we need to do for this section is remove the button. We can do that by erasing this text. The next section we are going to add is a video section. You can upload your video to either YouTube or Vimeo and then insert the link here. For now, I'm going to add a cover image here as a placeholder. Click this box to make the video section full width. And then the last thing we will do here is erase the heading. The next section we are going to add is a featured product. Then we are going to drag it up underneath our video. After reading product features, testimonials, and watching a video, hopefully our customers are ready to purchase, so we want to make that easy for them and present an opportunity. We are going to leave the rich text banner as is. You could add a sale here or an incentive or some text about the product. This collage section and collection list we don't need, so we're gonna go ahead and delete both of these sections. Next, we're going to add in collapsible content and move that right underneath the rich text section. This is a great spot to add frequently asked questions or perhaps store information such as warranty or return info. Our final section will be a contact form. This is strategically placed after the frequently asked questions because hopefully they will have found the answer they were looking for, but if not, they have a spot to ask any questions they might have. On the footer here, I'm going to add some social media icons. So click on theme settings, social media, and fill in any social media links you have. We are just about finished. Next, I want you to click on header. Then go ahead and remove the menu. Because this is a one product store, we have put everything a person needs to know on this one page, so no need for any additional links. And finally, to finish off the look, I'm going to upload my logo and adjust the size. I want to add my logo to the checkout page as well, so click on theme settings, checkout, and then select your logo. After that, click save and you are done. 
Now let's take a look. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products and updates that affect you. So turning on notifications for this channel will let you know as soon as we upload.